everyone, it's Tao, and I'm back with another one. I covered the new gestures added to One Hand Operation Plus by Samsung in my previous video. Today, I'll be covering the other Good Luck 2018 apps, Task Changer, Quickstar, Lockstar, and Routines. After playing around with each app for a few days, there are some notable and interesting changes that I thought I would share with you all. Before I get into that though, here's a quick demo of the navigation gestures in action as I didn't feel like my initial video did it justice. All right, with that out of the way, let's get right into the notable updates for the other Good Luck apps. Let's go. Let's start with Lockstar. A toggle has been added that allows users to use the system clock or clock faces clock styles. This basically allows you to change the lock screen styles without changing the clock that you already selected in the regular settings or with clock face. Another toggle has been added that allows users to maintain the current wallpaper when applying a new style. Same concept as the use system clock toggle. This means when you select a new style, it won't change your wallpaper. The the last notable change to Lockstar has to do with the app shortcuts. When adding apps to the lock screen, a panel has been added to the top. You can also rearrange the order of the apps now by dragging it into its desired position. Next up is Quick Star. In simple indicator at the very bottom, they added new switches for the data saver and the power saving mode icon. So now you have the option to hide these indicators when the feature is active. Under coloring, the ability to control the intensity of the blur effect has now been added. The slider has five levels of blur that only become visible when the blur effect is turned on. Moving on to Task Changer. A toggle for blur background effect has now been added. This applies a blur to the background whenever the Task Changer is launched. I personally prefer without a blur since the blur kind of throws me off a bit. Nice to have the option though. Another toggle to center the currently running app was also added. When turned on, this ensures that when Task Changer is launched, the app that you're currently in is in the center of your screen. With this off, the previous app is the one that's actually centered. The last thing I want to mention regarding Task Changer is that the animations seem much smoother now. It almost felt too quick and jerky before. Now, everything is so smooth and a pleasure to look at. Lastly, we have routines. Battery charging and battery level were added in conditions. A host of new items were also added in the action menu. They include always on display, do not disturb, GPS, NFC, Bluetooth, mobile hotspot, airplane mode, and blue light filter. They've also done a lot of supposed tweaks and bug fixes, but since I haven't used routines extensively enough, I can't comment on it. If you have any ideas for good routines, please be sure to share it in the comment section. There you have it, a breakdown of the notable changes to Task Changer, Routines, Lockstar, and Quickstar in Samsung's latest update. I'm actually very impressed that Samsung has already updated Good Lock only after one month of its initial release. It goes to show that Samsung is serious about taking customization in their smartphones to the next level. Excited to see what future updates they roll out next. What's your favorite update to Good Lock 2018 and why? Let me know in the comment section. I'm curious to read your thoughts. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. As always, it's much appreciated. Until the next one, peace. Bye!